Barney? I hate Barney. Are you sure you're Barney? Barney, Barney, Barney. Yeah. Take that. Get it, Get it in there, Barney. Yeah. We hate Barney! So we all hate Barney the Dinosaur. Hashtag we hate Barney the Dinosaur. No, Barney is sprawled out on my bed in this picture right here. Like a French girl. Draw me like one day Barney was at my house. So I drew him like one of my French girls. I drew him like one of my French girls. And now we're here protesting him because he wouldn't put out. Fuck Barney. Yeah! Four, my crotch is cold. Five. I just did 12 push-ups. How you doing? Is it? Oh, uh, it's okay. We're being kicked out now. I was the one paid protest. We're protesting Barney. Oh, do you hate Barney? Perfect. We're getting kicked out now. That's what happens when you act awkward in public. Welcome to the Dare to Be Stupid Show podcast. My name is Dan, and I am the creator of Dare to be Stupid Show. If you recognize my voice, it's because you recognize certain characters I've portrayed over the years on the channel. Characters such as Jason Voorhees in the Jason Voorhees talk series, or the character that I'm most well known for, Name the Puppet, in the Barney vs. Sketch series. I'll give you a voice sample. Hey everybody, it's me, Name the Puppet. Billy, Billy, where are you? Now, I'm mentioning Billy because that has become the major topic of discussion in the video comments on the channel. Where is the actor who portrayed Billy? Now, normally I do not discuss personal issues on the channel whatsoever. My philosophy has always been film a funny video, edit the funny video, and post the funny video. Don't discuss drama. Don't seek sympathy from people. You have one job to do, and that's make people laugh. And hopefully we, uh, the team of Derby Super Show, has accomplished that over the years. But it's time for some brutal honesty. The issue nowadays, and actually it's been the main issue for the last five years, is YouTube itself. Now, I'm not going to bite the hand that feeds. YouTube has been very, very good to us for many, many years. I mean, nearly 300,000 subscribers to the channel. Uh, I think we've done over 400 videos, and they've been seen, I think, 200 million times, or maybe even a quarter of a billion times. That's that's amazing. When you think about um, how the show started, how it originated, which I'm not going to talk about in this podcast because we'd be here for a long, long time. What I am going to discuss is Billy, or more specifically, the actor who portrayed Billy on the channel for many, many years in the Barney Versus series. And I do read your video comments and... I know you're wondering, well, what happened to Billy? Why did he leave? Did he leave because um, drama? Was there a falling out? Do we hate each other? No. No, not at all. I'm still very good friends with the actor who portrayed Billy. And I'm not going to mention his name for privacy reasons. I'm not sure if he wants his name out there, so I'm going to respect his privacy and not give his name away. There might be some longtime fans who know his name, but for the most part, I'm going to respect his privacy. I can't exactly tell you the complete reasons why he decided to leave, but I can tell you about the issues that we've had the last couple of years on YouTube and is probably a good indicator about why he left. And believe me, I don't blame him. I don't blame Billy's actor for leaving, and in fact, I encouraged him to leave. I encouraged him. We had a great dynamic, a great comedy dynamic, and that's something you can't replicate with just anybody. It was just, it's such a great comedy team, and I am so pissed off, and I'm going to tell you exactly why I'm pissed off. It has nothing to do with Billy's actor, it has everything to do with YouTube. 
It has everything to do with YouTube. And the reason why is in the last, I'm going to say, five to six years, we just keep getting pummeled by this website and for things we haven't done. We've never rocked the boat. We've never got involved in drama. All we did was try to make people laugh. But we were getting punished left and right for the actions of larger YouTubers. I'm sure you're familiar with the phrase adpocalypse. Boy, did that hurt our channel. So we have a channel that's growing that we can dedicate more time to. And then all of a sudden, we're receiving punishment for things we didn't do. We didn't film controversial videos. We didn't do anything that hit the mainstream news and made YouTube look bad. For whatever reason, we are getting punished for it consistently for the last five years. So once that happens, the writing is on the wall, guys. The writing is on the wall because your channel no longer grows. You no longer are generating the revenue that allows you to grow the channel and to, you know, expand on what you're doing. And then I have to look at the actors that are on Dare to be Stupid and tell them, you know, guys, I don't want to do this to you. I don't want you to hang on and waste some really good years of your life on a website that no longer respects the content that you're producing and is punishing you for absolutely no reason for things that you did not do. So I encouraged Billy's actor to go and I've taken on an immense workload. The fans need to realize for years, dare to be stupid. Quite literally that production you're seeing, it's two people doing the filming, the editing, the post-production. And if we're lucky, occasionally, maybe a couple of friends might participate. But for the most part, what you're seeing on dare to be stupid show is two people and occasionally hiring some of their friends to help them out. If they need, you know, some extra revenue in their lives. But now that Billy is gone, well, the actor who plays Billy, that entire workload rests on my shoulders. I'm doing everything, every puppet character, every costume character, every bit of filming and editing is done by me. And that's because of YouTube itself. It took our growing channel and just destroyed it. Absolutely destroyed it. And it doesn't stop. It absolutely, to this day, even with um, the actor for Billy gone, it's still brutal. I'm still finding my channel punished for things that I have not done. And it, anytime a larger YouTube creator gets in trouble, oh boy, they a slap on the wrist and dare to be stupid show and other smaller, well, we're not really a small channel, but basically, you know, not one of the larger channels on YouTube, we're getting punished. Or YouTube itself will do something on its own website. Like, can I even talk about this? Well, you know what COPA is. I'm hoping some fans don't know about. Hoping that you do know what COPA is. If not, I'm not going to really go into the details because I'm sure YouTube will be angry for having me talk about this. But essentially, we're getting punished again for a policy that YouTube enacted with their advertising and how they harvest advertising information from children. So again, we're getting punished because you're creators. We're getting punished for YouTube's advertising policies. It's nothing that we did, but now we can't grow the channel. I can't hire people that have worked for years on the show and I have to scale back, I have to cut costs and you lose people that you enjoyed watching. That's the reality of the situation. You can hear it in my voice. I am so fucking pissed off. That's right, YouTube. There's no censoring of so fucking pissed off. I would love to be producing the content that you guys love, like Barney versus those series or uh, stop motion series like the Super Smash failed auditions, but we can't anymore. And we can't because... Every year, YouTube is doing something to curtail the growth of our channel. If you can't grow the channel, I can't ask people like Billy's actor to stay on for years and waste really good years of their life on a website that's just punching them over and over and over again. That's the reality, guys. I don't want to be a dick in comments. I don't want to have to censor people. I don't want to go in a new direction. But I have no choice. 
you're seeing that our views have gone down substantially in the last couple of years. That is all YouTube's doing, and it's punishing us for things that we did not do. We tried to play ball. We tried to be reasonable with the website. We were team players, and for being team players, we were punished for it. We were spat on, and you have no idea how frustrating that is. So now I'm all alone, quite literally. I occasionally can hire a cameraman to help me film, but all this content that you're seeing on the channel, it's just all one person now. Before it was like shared responsibility, shared workload, and now that is all gone. Believe me, if I could, I would love to bring the actor for Billy back. I'd love to bring in more people. But I can't do that anymore. The revenue is not there. The views are not there. So it's all about cutting costs, cutting costs, and the comedy suffers. And another major reason why the channel suffers is doing comedy in this day and age is nearly impossible. I'm not kidding. Any At any given moment, a joke that you write in a comedy sketch could get you canceled. Just get you canceled. It's almost like comedy is forbidden in 2021. Now imagine that I'm investing money into filming a video, say it's like a 10 or 15 minute video. And in the course of that video, there might be one joke that I don't know, might, might offend somebody or be taken out of context or taken the wrong way. And all of a sudden, even if I put a minimal cost into investing in that video, it gets demonetized, and now I've handed YouTube a video for free. So now I'm giving YouTube my money for a video that I invested, and they're just telling me, nope, sorry, we're not going to advertise on this video. You've just given us free content. Sorry, guys, free content. Bullshit. Absolute bullshit. Do I, do I sound angry enough for you guys? Do I sound... This is the frustration. It sucks, guys. And you probably ask yourself, Dan, why do you just keep doing this? Why do you just why don't you just stop uploading videos to YouTube and just, you know, call it a day? You know, Dare to Be Stupid Show has always been a challenge. We've always been the underdogs, and the philosophy is always, you know what? We know it's an uphill battle. We know this is gonna be really difficult, so. We're just going to just trudge along and see what happens, film the funny videos, and if, if somebody gets to see them, great. If they don't, well, we gave it our best shot. We really, really did. So I take this as a challenge now. Can one guy take what was a two-person comedy team and do it on his own and succeed somehow? I've been able to do it in the past. I've been able to succeed by just having one person do this. Yeah do this. Sorry, guys. I'm going to drink some water. Uh, I've been ranting for now. What is it? Nine minutes and my throat and my mouth is dry. Mm. Ugh. I don't even know if anybody's going to listen to this and just ignore it because another issue of the channel is the way the YouTube algorithm works and the fan base that we developed over the years. See, Dare to be Stupid's fan base is splintered into a lot of different sections. There are people who watch strictly for the horror parody content like Freddy Krueger or Jason. Then there's another subsection that enjoys the stop motion videos. Stuff like Super Smash Brothers failed auditions. So that's another section of the audience. So you can see how it's splintered. And then we have a younger audience that the algorithm cater to that watches the Barney versus series. And that's a huge problem. That is a huge problem for the channel now because now if YouTube changes, it's almost impossible to keep that series going. And we're left with a subsection of a fan base that's just toxic. They're just young and they it's hard to explain to them about the changes that have gone on with the channel. They don't understand and they stick around. And by sticking around and thinking that things are going to change and they're not going to, they're hurting the channel. They're absolutely hurting the channel because YouTube looks at video engagement, how long people stay on a video. So if you're watching a video and you 
like it automatically, but you don't engage or you don't watch the content the whole way through, you are absolutely hurting the channel and our ability to create new content that you might like. It sort of sounds like I'm telling you guys to watch a video that you may or may, or may not like. You no, know, out of a, like, oh, show me pity and watch. No, but you guys got to understand how YouTube oh, analytics work. By having younger fans stick around and, you know, basically giving us a pity view and thinking things are going to change, the channel will stay at a standstill and things definitely will not improve. So that's why I've had to resort to being kind of a dick and blocking people and telling them, don't mention Billy and don't hold out hope that certain actors are going to come back because, as I just tried to explain to you, they're not coming back. I can't bring them back. I won't. I won't subject my friends. Oh, I just got a TikTok video on my um, my phone here because what I'm recording on. But I'm not going to subject my friends who worked so hard over the years to this crap anymore. I don't want to bring them back and, you know, have them deal with this crap. So I'm just going to bear this burden. I'm going to do it all on my own and see, you know, where this goes. And maybe if I'm lucky, I can rebuild and build the channel back up. I don't think so. I've seen the writing on the wall with YouTube and, oh God, another friend is interrupting me during my podcast. Yeah. Thanks for the thumbs up, buddy. Thanks for interrupting me. I'm not going to edit any of this. I'm really not. This is real. I want it to feel real because it is, this is the reality of what I'm dealing with. I would love to have certain actors come back, but I can't, I just can't bring them back. And I won't, I won't. The, uh, the writing is on the wall for YouTube. The writing is on the wall for channels like uh, mine. I'm actually amazed that the channel still exists, that it's monetized and it hasn't been deleted. I really thought that in, in these five years that YouTube is going to phase out independent creators completely and just focus on mainstream celebrities and mainstream news channels. That's what I thought was going to happen anyway, or maybe Amazon or Disney was going to purchase YouTube. I still think that's going to happen. I don't think there's any future for the website. I really don't. You can't keep stifling creators like this. You just can't. If you keep stifling the independent creators and catering to the mainstream, people are going to see this as cringe. Nobody is on YouTube because we wanted mainstream content. We wanted, you know, people that we had not seen before. People that were doing, you know, unique and interesting things. If we wanted TV, we would still be watching television. And we're not. And I think that's the problem. I think television wants their reach back. They want to take all of us independent creators and just kick us to the curb and just say, sorry, guys, you helped build this website, but your services are no longer required. So that's fine. You know, if that happens, have at it, Haas. Go for it. But I am not going to subject my friends to that any longer because they're still young. They're still able to, you know, do other projects, you know. But I will not put my friends through this ever again. So for those who want certain action, I'm sorry, guys. I... I am still pissed off about this. I had such a great working dynamic. You know how hard it is to have like um, a comedy team like that and you have like the back and forth and you, you already know what the guy's going to say before he says it. You, It's almost impossible to recreate that. It's impossible to recreate it. You can try to hire other people and try to bring that dynamic back, but it's never the same. So hopefully some of you have listened to this. I hope I didn't go too long. I want this to be 10 minutes. It's going to be more like 20, but those are the issues in the, those are the issues in a nutshell. The issues are YouTube itself. We are being punished for the actions of our YouTubers. We are being punished for the actions of YouTube itself. We are not able to write comedy because of the way society is now where we are constantly fearful of writing any joke that's going to be taken out of context or taken the wrong way. You simply can't upload to a comedy channel and have those fears in the back of your head. It just doesn't work. It makes it torture. And that's what this is now. It feels like 
utter torture. So, wow. It's quite a downer of a podcast. <laughs> I'm just going to have a bit more water. I'm in the Dare Be Stupid's prop room right now. I'm staring at a very large costume that we purchased. I still love doing this. I still love, you know, filming videos. And it's always a thrill when a video goes viral and you see, like, your content being shared like, to millions of people. And it's so cool. And that, that rush doesn't go away. It doesn't go away. Man, this costume that I'm looking at, it is so big and creepy. And it's here two months early. The costume that was supposed to arrive in June, and it's already here. I wonder what I can do visually with this thing. It's going to take over for Barney the Dinosaur, but that series is retired. I wanted to retire the Barney versus series as soon as Billy's actor had left because I didn't think it could go on. And, and I believe, well, it's been shown that I was correct that the series should have ended when the actor left because the actor was such a vital part. And even when you try to recast with different people, it's just not the same. It's like two and a half men. You can bring in Ashton Kutcher, but everybody is always hoping, will Charlie Sheen come back? Will he return in? Oh, no, they don't come back. That's just a reality. So if my channel declines, and it is declining, it's completely declining, or it can't grow anymore, then I'll accept that. I had some really, really great years. I was able to do some sketches that I always dreamed of doing and portray characters I never imagined, you know, I'd be portraying to millions of people, well, hundreds of thousands. Sometimes some, some views got millions, but it's, it's been a wild ride, guys. I'll be honest. It's been a wild, wild ride. And if it's over, I guess that's okay. Cause I just, I had definitely have other projects that I'm doing right now for fans that don't realize I'm actually a, a paranormal investigator in the region where I live. So I, I go looking for ghosts. So that's what I spend my weekends doing. And it's something I've wanted to share on the channel. But again, I've always focused on not breaking character and, you know, not moving away from the comedy. But Dare to be Stupid show, I'll be honest, I don't feel like a comedian anymore. I don't feel like making people laugh. I'd actually like to make it a little more serious. But with a channel name like Dare to be Stupid show, that's almost impossible. And at this point, I don't feel like rebranding or changing the name. So it just might become more of a variety show where you get comedy, but you also might get ghost content or video games just to mix things up. I'm a guy who likes to do a lot of different things, have a lot of different interests. So maybe it's time that I was a little more out of character and you guys got to know me a little bit better because I've certainly led a very interesting life over these many, many years. Not an old man by any means, but you know, Hmm. More water. Trying to rush um rush this podcast out because I've got to go do some shopping. I've got to go purchase a few things. I'm actually filming a Dare to be Stupid video tonight. I'm not going to spoil what it is, but it does involve Jason Voorhees. So it's another episode of the Jason Talk series. If I'm lucky, it might even be up on YouTube by next week. I'm going to shut up now. I'm hoping this, this podcast uh, or this rant is it's really more of a rant, has answered a few questions you might have. And I think that wraps it up. All right, guys, see you later.